So it, there's a lot of research about how you create um, the environment for innovation and creativity. Um, and, and there's myriad different ways, right? There's some people who work better in teams and there's other people who work better on their own. One of the things that I've studied in the, the power of habit is mental habits. How do we create these mental habits that make things like the creative spark or the urge to, to, to be innovative easier? more automatic. And one of the things that we know is that it's critical to reward yourself when you have this urge. So if you think about it, in many ways we tend to punish ourselves when we daydream or when we procrastinate. These sessions that we know are actually very powerful for creativity, but that feel wasteful, they feel unproductive. And so people will say to themselves, okay, I'm allowed to walk, go on a walk for 10 minutes, but then I have to be back at my desk, and then I have to do 10 emails to make up for the 10 minutes I just spent wandering around or daydreaming. What we know about the neurology of habit formation is that habits flourish when there's a reward that your brain can grab onto. And so if you want to make yourself more creative and encourage this automatic creativity, it means that when you have these creative moments, taking a walk, daydreaming, just going off on a tangent, you need to actually reward yourself for doing that so that your brain grasps onto that and says, look, this is something important and useful, something that I should do more automatically. So go ahead and give yourself a, a pat on the back or a chocolate chip cookie or something else for doing something that doesn't necessarily feel productive, but which you feel like increases your creativity.